Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So I thought during this week of Christmas that it would be a nice idea to take composers who are famous for something that is in the Christmas spirit. Yesterday, we talked about Franz Bebel, who is basically known for one piece, his Ave Maria, though he wrote a lot more. And the same is true today. Pietro Jan, the Italian composer born in Piedmont, who, uh, in addition to being a composer, was a phenomenal organist. I wish I could hear a recording of Pietro Jan. I'm sure they still exist. Before <clears throat> age 21, he had been the deputy organist at the Vatican. He gave a command performance for the King of Italy. He also then, in 1907, at the age of 21, came to the United States. He was brought there to become the organist at the St. Francis Xavier Church in New York City. And in 1914, Jan, Y-O-N, and his brother founded the Jan Music Studios in Carnegie Hall. I loved all this information. Among the students that he had were Cole Porter, Robert Elmore, Mary Downey, and Norman Della Gioio. I mean, famous, wonderful composers, and here is this man at Carnegie Hall in one of those studios up in that building. In 1926, he was asked to come to St. Patrick's Cathedral, that immense cathedral in New York City. And he remained there until he died in 1943. He became famous for a male soloist ensemble that traveled around and people by the thousands came to services at St. Patrick's because of this male ensemble. The dedication, I mean, these are amazing figures. The dedication of the organ that he played there attracted 12,000 people. And in 1939, these men were asked to appear at the World's Fair. He wrote more than 70 masses. They're not at all known anymore. He also wrote several big pieces for organ, some of them for organ and orchestra. So one of them is a charming scherzo, which comes from his Concerto Gregoriano. And it's a very whimsical kind of thing of the period. This is 1920 now. And so you hear this. <laughs> in the music and then that's the orchestra beginning and then the organ comes in and does exactly the same thing he also composed uh, another big piece this one for organ alone called the sonata prima uh, in addition i see here there's also a christmas in sicily a concert study a second concert study but this particular prima one has a theme and variations. So here's the theme. That's the theme, and I mentioned earlier that he was a fabulous organist. Well, you'd have to be. Here is variation four. Just imagine, this is for your feet only.
amazing. I think I'll have to learn that one. So in addition to these things, one of the other facts I learned about him is that he was a very much a practical joker. And people loved this guy, but they never knew what was going to happen. I learned that he liked to leave plastic dog droppings in elevators. He also, his daughter-in-law, at the time that she was engaged to his son, um, he met her for the first time and put, as she went to sit down and he put a whoopee cushion on her chair. How it was that she had a good sense of humor and stayed with him, who knows, but she did. So the piece that we all know is Yesu Bambino, which he wrote in 1917. And of course, originally the text was in Italian, translated some years later. And what makes the piece very sweet, uh, <clears throat> he did arrangement for solo voice, for choir. Uh, he took the melody of Adeste Fidelis, he wrote his own melody in the style of the pastoral. Now, if you remember back when we talked many months ago about Handel, he wrote, a, he wrote many pastorals, but one of them was, of course, for Handel's Messiah. Well, this is the same idea, a pastoral, was always in 6, 8, 9, 8, 12, 8, sort of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it was thought of as music that shepherds, maybe on a little flute, would play to the sheep out on the hillside. So Pietro Jan has composed this Jesu Bambino, again, a pastoral, and it has its own melody. And then on top of his piece comes Adeste Fidelis. So when you put them together, you could have his... And then you get sings Adeste Fidelis while the accompaniment plays his pastoral. So you hear while you're also hearing and together Have a wonderful day.